Hello, my munchkins. I have another question for you today that one of my munchkins asked me. I found this one a little challenging. Not because I didn't know the answer, but how do you describe your opinion to what love is or what love is versus to what someone else say love is. So what I try to do is find something general that we all can relate to. And this is what I came up with. It is all-consuming pleasure. It is the ultimate joy. It is, it is, love is something that engulfs the heart and tangles the brain. Once you're in it, it's hard to get out because it becomes the matter of the heart and the soul. It is the most beautiful pleasure that a God or God to whatever you believe gave to humanity. And not just loving one another, but we can love things. You see? So it's what brings us the ultimate joy, the ultimate pleasure. And when it's good, it's fantastic. And when it's bad, it's a freaking nightmare. I said I wasn't going to say anything negative, but I wanted to give you the polarities of it. It's all consuming. And personally, it is the most beautiful feeling that you can have. And the reason why a lot of people don't like to fall in love, they love the feeling, but they know what comes when it doesn't work. So to put yourself out there to love, you have to put yourself out there for the heartbreak as well. Hopefully you won't get it, but you put yourself out there. And the heartbreak is horrible because it's the matter of the heart. And when the heart's lock hold to something, it won't let the mind go. You gotta get your heart to accept that it's over or whatever it is, and then the mind will comply. So, and you have a heart in your lower nature too. So you got your gut, your heart, and your brain. So when you fall in love, all of that falls in love. But it's exhilarating. I love it. I'm waiting to fall in love. Happy Valentine's Day. So, here we go. I hope that helped. So, my question for you today is, why am I alone on Balance Times Day when I can have such intense pleasure in being with somebody I love and showing off and being happy and kissing and doing girl things? Why? Well, in this case, we have to go to the trusty oracle. Tell me. Oh, ain't ready to talk. Why am I alone on Balance Times Day? Tell me. I will be alone on Valentine's Day. But that's okay. I love me. And you love you, right? And if you don't, you will, right? Why am I alone on Valentine's Day? I would like to know that. So I had to change my other cards out because they were just too big. Why am I alone on balance times, Dad? Please tell me. Oh, you know, every time I pick a card, balance, 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 balance. So the reason why all of us who's not in love on balance times, Dad, we are out of Balance. Thus says the trusted oracle cards. <sighs> Tangled up with business, family, work, melancholy, the good and bad reasons, work, family. Sometimes people just alone because they're afraid to get back out there. Sometimes people are alone because they've been deeply hurt and they don't, they don't want to 
go back out there. At least they're not ready to. Oh my God. This is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. Okay. So why am I alone on balance time step? So what I have in my presence is things get in the way. Family, travel, commitments, um, work, um, or just not ready. But another reason I find, and I thought this was really brilliant, because we have our own ideas of what we think love should be, or how our man should be, or our woman should be. We have our own ideas, we have our own illusions in our heads. We make our expectations so high, we don't lower our expectations, but we find the middle. We don't look for something that we can't produce. If I'm looking for someone to love me, then I want to look for someone like me, but my male counterpart. You see, if, if I'm not 100%, then how can I bring to me someone that's 100%? If I'm broken, how can I bring somebody to me 100% if I'm broken? I can probably bring them and I can lure them in with my charm. The question is, can I keep them? And most likely I will not. And so there I would have another turbulent relationship. So we don't want that. So we got to fix ourselves and adorn ourselves. And we start from the inside out. <laughs> this is crazy, but I'm going to say it the way I see it. The reason why some of us, I'm going to say it, so don't be angry. The reason why some of us, okay, this is a tough one, okay, because some of us are too masculine, we're too domineering. I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it, honestly, because maybe I may slide in there just to end, so I didn't want to say it, but I have to trust what the card said. Some of us, we're just too educated. Oh, oh, come on. I'm not talking about to nobody out there. I know I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about me, but I'm reading for you, okay? Because I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, okay? So we know we, are, we can be too masculine, right? Let's go through the things that while we are alone on Valentine's Day. And I'm not trying to make it a teachable moment, but if I'm laying these cards, I'm looking at it like I'm alone on Valentine's Day too, you see? So... This reading is helping me just like it's helping you. If I was reading it for myself, I would never get this kind of knowledge. But because I'm reading for you, I'm able to learn too. Yay! So we learn with this that emotionally we are out of balance. We don't have it all together emotionally. We learned that. We also learned that we could be too masculine, too dominating. We learned that. Sometimes we, we could be too much about our work or whatever we do. We're too busy. Or sometimes we just have another man on the side that maybe he's married. Uh-oh. Or maybe he is just not available. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Because the question is, why am I not and love on balance times that maybe you are in love with someone, but maybe they with somebody else. I'm not saying no judgment. Maybe, maybe you are, we are alone. I'm saying we. Maybe we are alone on Valentine's Day because maybe we're looking for that perfect, perfect guy. That shining light. Maybe, maybe that's why we're alone. And Maybe some of us just looking for the perfect female that does everything that she that we want her to do, that how we want her to look, how we want her to be. Maybe that. Well, as you can see, I can go on all night and pick a thousand cards to why we are alone on Valentine's Times Day. So let's go to the trusty oracles because now we already know. So this may take a turn for the worse. But let's just hope that be kind. 
Let's just hope that she's going to say something positive, like we're going to meet our Mr. Right. Can we meet our Mr. Right right now when Valentine's Day is looking us right in the face? All things are possible. Okay. My editor told me, wear them glasses. Okay. So here we have five of wands. They're so tiny you can't see them, so I'll just read them to you. And we have, this got stuck to it, and we have the eight of swords. See, didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you she'll just come in and, 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 just, and, and just let us know? So make it make sense to us. Why wands? Because she's saying some of us just have so much energy. And that when we, we get so, we want it so bad that when we're in the day, we become a turn off. We give too fast. Or we're talking about our old love affairs. Or we being, we're giving of ourselves. We're giving too much information out of ourselves too much, too fast, and too soon. And ultimate, we are alone because we are afraid. We are afraid to put ourselves out there. You know, I've been reading heavy from the time that I've been reading. All, you know, getting all these videos together. And I really, really wanted to do something a little light and a little fun. I hope that this was light and it was fun. But make no mistake, the words that I spoke out my mouth are true. If you look back at it, and you look at it, you'll see. But I want to give a closing. Be kind. She said, I am. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. She said the I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. You know, I'm going to keep this, this video because ooh, hope. Hope. Hope for you and hope for me. This is momentarily. Once we figure out all we have to do, we won't be alone next Valentine's Day. If we could only believe that. I'm going to believe. Next year, it's a new year to be different. This year, we got to fix ourselves up. And when we go through Valentine's Day, we're going to pour our own self a, a, a little glass of wine. And, or we're going to roll up our own little, you know what I'm talking about. And we're going to sit down and we're going to take our hand and go, I love you. It's all good. And look at a movie. Thank you, my munchkins.